nine diesel electric motors. As she made her final steam propelled voyage from New York at the weekend, the QE2 was yet again writing herself into the maritime history books. This was the last scheduled transatlantic crossing by a steam powered passenger liner. In the event, the great liner was forced to push her old engines to the limits as she battled with winds gusting to force 10 in the English Channel. It made her four hours late arriving in Southampton and meant the cancellation of celebrations which had been planned to mark the event. Her old steam turbine engines are to be replaced at a cost of £75 million. The new diesel electric motors, say Cunard, will make her faster, more efficient and prolong her life well into the 21st century. Although the new engines and generators are being fitted in West Germany, they are British built. Her old engines are to be sold off, probably to a museum. While the QE2 is in Bremerhaven, the refits to last six months, she'll also have refurbishment work done, which is going to cost a further £20 million. It's the biggest and most costly refit ever undertaken on a British liner. As she left Southampton last night, a symbolic gesture from the engine room that this was the end of an era. For Cunard, after 146 years, the end of steam power. Well, now, villagers and